Let's begin by taking a look at the weapon stat changes. Now, because I documented all the weapon stats before the update, I can tell you about some changes that the changelog didn't mention. First of all, they changed the target preview for all the weapons, which now shows a combination of both the recoil pattern and the precision, while in the past it was just the precision. I am not sure how well they are calculated, but at least now you know which weapons might need a tight grip badge before you buy them. Starting off with the MG13, they decreased the rate of fire, they increased the reload time and they changed the recoil and sway, which we will take a look at later. Also, they secretly decreased the damage, which you can easily see if I do this. On the other hand, they increased the rate of fire for the M1918, they decreased the reload time and they gave it two extra magazines, but they decreased the range, which you can see here. They decreased the rate of fire of the AVS. For the M2 Carbine, they decreased the rate of fire, they increased the damage and the range, and they made the recoil easier to control. They decreased the rate of fire and reload time for the Johnson. The rate of fire of the STG44. They increased the rate of fire of the MG34. They decreased the magazine size of the M1 and the M1A1 Carbine, but you can still carry 180 bullets for the same amount of equipment points. A tiny damage increase for the PPD and the single fire mode option. Slightly better range on the FG42. And even though the change log says the PPSH41 has better damage and range, I don't see any difference. The MP34, MP40 and Thompson also received one extra magazine. Moving over in game, we can see that not much has changed in this way when standing with a machine gun. And personally, I also didn't notice a big change in this way when walking. Turning my aim around. Or doing both. Or doing everything and shooting at the same time. But all the machine guns now will kick slightly to the right, which you will get used to pretty soon. Let's see if the hip fire for the SMGs is any different. Here I'm trying to control the weapon as much as I can. To be honest, I feel it's easier to hip fire with SMGs now, which is great news. You can also see it since the bullet group is closer together even if I'm further away. Speaking of SMGs, here is the recoil of the M2 carbine. You can notice that now it goes straight up and the last bullets zigzag a little bit. I am sorry, but I don't own an AVS or an STG44 yet, but they should be easier to control because of the reduced rate of fire. Here is the new sights of the M1 carbine. You can see that the rear sight is thicker now, but that's okay since you can equip a scope to this gun. And here are the M1A1 sights just to compare. Moving over to the vehicle changes. Now the armor is worn down slower by 50%. For those who don't know, your armor has a health bar. As long as your armor has health, you will receive 50% base structure damage from anything that penetrates it, and once it's gone, 100% of the base structure damage. The tanks should now be more tanky and willing to push the enemies and help the team. Speaking of base structure health, they reduce it for the tanks Hellcat, Hedger and SU-76 from 1700 to 1200. They increased the damage multiplier for heavy tank cannons, but they made them fire slower depending on how large the cannon is. What the fuck? They decreased the magazine size on the mounted MG34s from 150 to 75 bullets, and they changed more magazines and reload times on mounted weapons depending on the magazine capacity. They decreased the size of the fuel components for the T26 and Panzer IIc to prevent one-shot kills and the ammunition components from large to medium for the Chaffee for the same reason. 
Also, the reload time for the KV-86 should Gvzu-222, Panzer IIc and Panzer IIl got reduced by 1 second. And they also changed the reloading sound effects for these tanks to match the new reload speeds. Moving over to the planes, they decrease their health and components health by this much. I will explain this in more detail in a future video cause it will take a lot of time. They change the health bar of the vehicles to the color green to match the health bar of the components. When your health is red, it means you are below 40% health. When the components are red, it means they are destroyed and you need to repair them until they become green to fully work again. The awkward yellow color got removed, so now you know for sure when the component is either broken or healthy. And finally the map changes, the most important of which is that the paved walks on the town map are now lower and you can drive over them a lot more smoothly. Also a lot of floating stuff like railroads, ammo boxes and crates got back to the ground on most of the maps. And that's pretty much it. This was the first attempt from the developers to balance out most of the weapons and make each one better suited for specific situations rather than have one gun that can do everything. We will expect more updates like this soon. Remember to tell your opinion about this update to the developers if you want in their Discord server on the 18.1 Balance Feedback text channel. Try to give constructive criticism with details. And that's all, thank you for leaving a like and bye bye.